mic and welcome everybody to the gathering in quarantine terry's travels how are you mike i'm doing great still great today oh that's awesome and i hope all of our viewers are doing well too nice to see you yeah, it's and always great always <laughs> great to see you it's been it's been a few weeks i know i know truly truly it was so nice seeing you the other night i think it was about a week and a week and a half ago yeah, about a week so. and a half it's nice to see you in person for a change that's right yeah most definitely <laughs> yeah so um are we ready to travel to the I, city of lights i am i'm excited what do we have it tonight well first i have to tell you we are going to paris and if you can't tell, I've got my impressionist sweater on. I've got my hair in a French twist. There you go. So we are off to Paris. And what's on the menu is escargot, French onion soup, bone marrow, bouillabaisse, and champagne poached pears. Now, you may be looking at the menu and say to yourself, gee, that looks like an awful lot. But it really isn't. This is all going to go really fast, all of the dishes. So a little bit about Paris. Um, my first trip was years ago, and I had a historic site bucket list. Yep. My second trip, which I went with Chelsea, and that was for one of my big birthdays, I had a food bucket list. So, Mike, if you want to bring up that slide. Oh, I knew you were going to call me out on that because I'm trying to get that ready here. And it <laughs> is. We had a, I had a little technical uh, difficulty earlier, and I'm just, I think I have it solved. But um, we are doing it this way tonight. So, um, let well, me bring I'll, out the well, food Well, I'll tell you what, list. while you're looking at that, I can explain the ingredients for the champagne poached pears. Okay, do that. We have one bottle of pink champagne, a cup of sugar, one pound of whole strawberries, the zest from one lemon, a half a vanilla bean, and two Bosque pears. So what we're going to do is we're going to, in the saucepan, put the strawberries and the sugar and the lemon zest i want to do that and the vanilla bean which is split and then we're going to take the champagne the pink champagne <laughs> i don't know if you can hear it yep i wish these pans were glass so you could see it it's really quite beautiful I'm going to get rid of this over here. And then I'm going to grab a spoon and just mix everything up. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring this to a simmer. Okay, so we're going to warm that up. All right. We're going to get that going. Then we're going to put these two beautiful peeled pears in to that pot and it'll simmer for like you know for small pears 15 minutes for large pears 30 minutes i'm going to leave them in for 30 but aren't they beautiful they are beautiful absolutely yes and what else i have on the table you can't have anything without brie right well, well so you are in france yes <laughs> it's just you know not on the menu but it had to be on the table here so let me get rid of this Okay, so there you have it. This is a quick start. And I just want to, let's see, make sure this is going, which that'll take a few minutes. How are you doing with those slides? Good. You want to see your uh, list? I do, my food bucket list. There you go. And what we have here are all the meals Chelsea and I had. And smack in the middle, you can see the bone marrow pictures, right? Yeah, right over here, sure. And what those 
bones are called, those are called canoe bones because they're cut lengthwise mm -hmm. and they're served like that and they're easier to um, get the marrow out when you go to eat it. And as you can see the picture next to it, they're empty. They were so good, but we'll talk about that later. Excellent. But yeah, you know, you can have all kinds of um, thoughts about what types of food you're going to be eating over there because they're known for food. And, um, you know, yes, people think it's all rich food, but it really isn't. You know, I mean, a lot of it is, but a lot of it isn't. So you can really um, go to town on some things, but be smart on others. Right. One thing I noticed and when you shared the pictures uh, with me for the slideshow, I, I noticed uh, all the different flavors, but <laughs> they, they all look presented simply. You know, it's not a, you know, like a big pile with all your different flavors mixed in that you have to. It, it, it looks like it looks very simple. It is. And that's the beauty of this menu tonight. Um, and again, you know, you want to do it for, you know, maybe a special occasion or for someone special, whatever it is, um, it's a wonderful thing. I am going to take the pears and gingerly drop them in the pot. And I have the heat on medium. And I'm just going to let that go. Yeah, I'm very interested in seeing how this comes out because this is the second time that uh, we've cooked pears on this show. And the first time just blew me away. So I'm definitely excited <laughs> to see this one. There you go. There you go. So while that's going on, we're going to move on to our bouillabaisse. base. Now, this is, you know, a French staple, right? It's seafood, tomato, wine based dish. Um, and you can find a thousand recipes for it. I picked a rather simple one. And what we have here is we have a half a cup of olive oil. We have two medium tomatoes chopped. We have one onion thinly sliced. We have a carrot peeled and sliced. We have a pinch of saffron. We have a bay leaf. We have four sprigs of parsley just ripped two cloves of garlic chopped, juice from one lemon. We have one cup of fish broth and a half a cup of white wine. So mm -hmm. what we're going to do in a saucepan, I'm going to heat the oil and I'm going to add the tomatoes and the onion and the carrots and the saffron and the bay leaf and the parsley i'm gonna so get I, that going so yeah i get that going so i'm guessing with the amount of oil that i see you have there you, all you're doing is softening these vegetables right okay you're not trying to do any browning or anything like that you will bring a lot of color out it'll make the onions more translucent and right, right, uh but right. soften them right up that's awesome right because basically um it's your seafood tomato based dish Mm -hmm. Right. And here I have baguette cut, toasted with butter. All the dishes tonight, you're going to eat with this. Right. So rather than, you know, with every dish, with every menu item, recipe, you know, items, ingredients on the menus, you're going to see the baguette. Right. I cut it up and prep them and those are ready to go. Yeah, I thought uh, as I was putting the uh, menu together. Uh, online and on the uh, on the slides, and then wait baguette, wait baguette, wait baguette. <laughs> it's, not, <laughs> yep. it's not every portion. It's like, oh, that makes sense. Yep, and it's um, and again, you're not going to have four baguettes. You can, you know, depending on how many people you're cooking for, sure. how many is going to be around. Um, I'm just going to stir this with the oil. Once I get everything in there, you'll see it. And again, you know, um, a friend of mine who watches the show, I'll say hello. Hi, Pat. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Um, 
he loves the show, but he wishes we had an overhead camera, as I do. So one of these oh, days, we'll, we'll work on that as the uh, as we, we will can start producing that. this stuff in person. I already have uh, equipment uh, for that to make that happen. Awesome. Uh, the other thing too that I I don't know if you know this or not, uh, but I, you know, I like my social media, my Facebook. Uh, tonight, exactly tonight, <laughs> was our very first show in quarantine. Come One year on. ago today. Mike. One year ago today. Wow. Do you remember what you cooked? Um. Oh, wow. No, I don't because we've had huh? like, how, how, how many shows have we had? Like 30, 40? Oh, my 40? goodness. I can't remember, but I'm going to pull it up here. And I'm going to share with everybody. I've just, a computer's my little slow. I'm having a little technology issue today, which I don't know why. Everything's been working great all week. We've got a bunch of live shows, candidates, uh, meet the candidates and uh, school committee candidates debates. And so things were going good. And all of a sudden, bam. Oh, I, yes, I can't find, but it was a year ago today. We did our first show and that was the, um, the quick steak. Um, oh, yes, 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 yes. The quick stuffed uh, steak dinner. Yes. Yeah, and then let's we'll see if I can find it <laughs> in this list here. Um, I'm going to add the garlic yeah, go to my pot right now. How's that coming? It's coming along right here. And let's see if it's going to play. And let's see if it'll let me share. And there you are in the kitchen. Oh. One year ago. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> that the quarantine that. started. <laughs> I really, I really have. Well, I did put on a few pounds there. <laughs> oh, who has it? <laughs> Glad to say I know because we were in the thick of it back then. Yeah. And, uh, Boy, you know, getting away from your regular routine, I did put on a few pounds, but <laughs> I'm happy to say I am back to where I was. Um, and I had to be weighed today. So I'm right where I was right Excellent. when quarantine hit. So, yes, I'm very happy. Fantastic. Uh, so this is cooking right along. And I'm going to let this go just for a couple of more minutes, Mike, if you want to bring up some um, yep. Eiffel Tower. I'm gonna look now, at here's one thing I want to talk about. No matter what country you go to, um, if you're not renting a car and riding around on your own and seeing things on your own, what you want to do is you want to take the guided tours, the skip the line tours, because people that don't want to spend the money spend hours waiting in line guess what it's not worth it right you buy a tour you go you you are right in and all these historical sites they're always packed so it's always good to do it that way this slide right here is the view from our hotel room isn't that just wild that is great I know. I wanted to make sure we could see the tower. I'm just, I mean, I mean even look at the building across the street. I mean, just look at that architecture. It's oh, so oh, it's just amazing. Um, and they call it La Tour Eiffel over there. La and Tour. you can see that's um, looking up. And again, here's, here's the thing. It's a must. You must do a day tour and a night tour of the Eiffel Tower because the day you get to see the whole city that's at night with the famous wow. Ferris wheel. Um, but at night, you know, it's called the city of lights and you want to see it at night. And the night that Chelsea and I went, which was amazing. We did both the day and the night. Oh, and um, speaking of the day, there you are. Ah, yes, there we are enjoying champagne. And uh, I think I put the name of the bar Right there on the uh, tower, they have um, a yep. champagne bar. <laughs> so and there's uh, another view of the tower, same shop, but at night. Yep, same shop, but at night. That is um, gorgeous. It's just wonderful. And then, you know, I have this thing with the moon, right? 
Yep. So um, the night we went, it was a full moon. So it was oh. just amazing. To this, I am going to add the lemon juice and the fish broth and the wine. Get some more liquid in here. And I'll add the fish in a minute. Okay. So now how many times? You said you went a couple times. How many times have you been to Paris? Yeah, twice. Twice. Yeah, just twice. If I uh, had my druthers, it would be a lot more. <laughs> it's, um, oh, and did I say scallops, cod, and yep. shrimp? <laughs> yes, yeah. Um, Paris is just beautiful. It's, you know, it, it is, it's, yeah, I mean, listen, yeah, <laughs> I'm speechless. It's so beautiful. <laughs> but most countries over there are, you know, um, history. It's all about the history. Sure. Yeah. So now, uh, this next slide that I'm going to share with everybody here. Um, I'm assuming that's also from the tower? Another that view? is. That is. And that's just kind of like before it got dark. Yeah. And right across the way, that's a famous um, walkway that there's there's the Seine, okay? Uh -huh. So the Seine, you know, because it's spelled S-E-I-N-E, -E, people pronounce it sign, scene. It's Sen, the Sen, and um, it runs through most of Paris and through France out to the English Channel. So you see a lot of the boat tours, but yep. right across the river is um, that area that you see. People go over there to take shots of the Eiffel Tower. Sure. And it's just spectacular. The view, the views look great, and there you are at nighttime, and just look at a nice full a, moon there, and a full moon. How blue the sky is still at night. I know, I know. It was beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful. And now I'm going to assume this selfie here is from uh, where you're talking about, or? Yep, yep, yep. That was, um, you know, you can't help but walk by, even if you're not going up the tower. Um, just walking through that courtyard whatever you want to call it. It's kind of like a park. Yep. Um, it's, it's, it's magnificent. It's and now this, really uh, explain the, here's my background here. Now this <laughs> right here is the front of the Louvre. So it, if you it explain see, to our viewers what the Louvre is, it is. What? So you see through that last arc on the left. Yep. You see that triangle? You when you get to here? the next slide, there you go. <laughs> and that's what people, they stand and put their finger on top of it. Right. It's kind of like the the uh, Leaning Tower of Pisa. Yeah, I was people trying to push it back like home. This. Yeah, <laughs> and it's like they're holding it up. Yeah. They do that with this piece, and that's on the outside. Right. I'm going I... to add the fish right now. Go ahead. Okay. Because... Uh... The best part, too, is what is inside the Louvre. And one of my favorite slides is this one right here. Well, okay, that's the Mona Lisa, right? Yeah. So everybody thinks the Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa, it's huge, it's beautiful, it's, you know, really famous. Go to the next slide. Yeah, that's... I, that, yes. this, this puts it into... That's how small it is. Right. That puts it into perspective. When you're yeah. over there, you're like, what? <laughs> <That's the Mona Lisa. laughs> but um you know the louvre i mean is like any other grand palace over there the ceilings i mean they're just so opulent we could have done a whole show on just the photos i took and it it's really hard to pick so and it's a cooking show so I couldn't really <laughs> give you oh, It's getting, getting you in the mood for the kind of flavors that uh, you're going to have here. Yes. So now I have the fish in this 
wonderful seasoned broth. And I'm going to let this go. And if I could, I don't know if I could show you. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know how much you can see. Yeah, I can see it. Can you see it? You can see the whole thing. Oh, it's beautiful. And with this beautiful broth, you're going to sop it up with this beautiful pile of baguettes, right? <laughs> and then it's on to our next item, which is the French onion soup. Okay. Which is so one of my favorites. Have, I know. I know. Ev, who doesn't love it, right? Oh, right. I know. So we have four tabs of butter, three large onions sliced. We have a teaspoon and a half of brown sugar. We have three sprigs of fresh thyme. We have Greer cheese, one cup of red wine, and, um, well, baguettes over here. I have two baguettes over here. Once I get the soup going, I'm going to put the Greer cheese on top of the two slices of baguettes, put them in the oven, and melt. Right. And that's going to go on top of the soup. But to start, I am going to, oh, check on the pears. Okay. Let's see. Where's my little spoon for the pears? Over? This, I have to tell you, it smells amazing. Whoa. There's got to be some, someday, somewhere, I don't know why nobody has figured out how to get the smells through a television. Oh, today. smell-o-vision, right? And here's the thing. When I empty out the pears and the strawberries, yep. I'm saving that liquid because I'm going to use that for something. <laughs> That's all I can say. Okay, so I am going to move a couple of things around. I'm going to put the pears on the back burner, and I'm going to let that go. Okay, then I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to move the fish to the back burner over here, okay? And then right here, I'm going to start sauteing my onions. So I'm going to melt the butter in the pan, okay? Get that going. I will cook the onions. I will add the thyme and the brown sugar. And I'm going to put this in this pan right here and get this started. Okay. <laughs> it's amazing <laughs> on how, and, uh, you know, I don't know if people can appreciate the size of your kitchen. <laughs> and how much food that you're able to produce, especially when we're out of this and you're making your regular show again and how much even more food you produce for, for the amount of people you have over. But uh, for a little four burner uh, stove, you do quite well. <laughs> well, yeah. And, um, and anyone can do it, right? All you need is four burners. That's it. Right. Okay. So I'm going to let that go. I am going to bring my onions over. So what's what's next on the slideshow? I well, think uh, Versailles, right? It looks, you know, that's that was my guess only from because I watch a lot of television. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to guess, and uh, and I mean just just looking at the gold trim around the railings, and uh, it, it's just so ornamental, and the time and. And you think about the era that it was done in and, and how much, what they have to do to preserve it today. Oh, yeah. Just to keep it going. And, and just, of course, my favorite picture of this whole slideshow is right here. Yep. Now, again, um, the amount of pictures I've took, taken, though that is the Hall of Mirrors. That's well known. Yep. Um beautiful just i mean opulent just grand um 
You can see the ceilings, every room. And no matter what it was, the bedrooms, the sitting rooms, the parlors, the ballrooms. <laughs> I That's mean, beautiful. you could just put yourself back in time and, and be there. Now, is this another angle from outside? Is this it is. Of that, yeah. that is from the gardens. And the gardens was another thing. Um, just totally huge, absolutely huge. And you would walk through the gardens and then walk down steps and they had ponds and more, more, you know, uh, flowers and bushes. And it was just really amazing. Just amazing. Yeah. Great stuff over there. And uh, I, I just, you know, of course, I don't know how many people know the story, but you see this next shot in a lot of movies, especially those little love uh, romantic <laughs> uh, stories there. Uh, explain explain what Chelsea's doing, uh, what's what's all around her. That is called the Love Lock. Well, it's called the Lock Bridge, but a lot of people know it as the Love Lock Bridge. And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to get a lock and put your name on it with your paramour and lock it on the bridge. Now, we did it. We, we put one on there. But of late, it got so heavy, they had to take them all off. Now, there are some bridges in Paris that still have them. Mm -hmm. But I guess it's just a matter of time before... You know, the bridges get compromised, but oh, oh yeah, that's a lot of weight there for railing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, truly. I added the onions to the butter and I'm sauteing these. I'm gonna keep that going. I'm going to keep that going. This is all good. Um very shortly I will add the wine and the thyme. But you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to, as you can see here, I have two slices of baguettes and all this beautiful cheese. Yep. So we all love cheese, right? Who doesn't? Yeah. So I am going to bake this. And then we'll put it right on top. It's a little early. I'm going to wait maybe 10 minutes before I put okay. this in, but that'll be ready to go. Okay. I'm going to add the brown sugar to the onions, which will give it a slight, subtle, sweet taste. It will go nicely with the wine and the beef broth. So now over in Paris, would they just call this onion soup? <laughs> what do they call it? <laughs> yes. I don't know. I... <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, they just like, you know, French fries. They don't, um, they don't call them French fries, right? No, no. It's a uh, frites. Pre pop pop pomes treats. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so the uh, the pears are looking pretty good, and the onions are coming along. And then just let me see how the fish is doing. I'm gonna turn the fish up a bit because I want to make sure the fish cooks. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm turning that up. Okay, that's good. And this is going, that's good. So, so the, uh, the, now the next set of pictures here, which it, it's sad. I mean, it's nice to see these pictures, but uh, Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Yeah, it's and, uh, um, yeah, I I am happy to say I was there twice before the fire last year or was it 2019, I think <clears throat> 19. Yes. Yeah. 
um, amazing place, just amazing. Uh, there's Chelsea pretending to be Quasimoto. <laughs> she is. She is such a well, hot. Uh, she's a hot ticket, right? Oh, she and, always has been. <laughs> I know. I know. She truly is. Uh, I think she's a good combination of both her mom and dad in that regard. Right. You go up there, and there's one of the gargoyles, which you see a lot of. They're beautiful up there. Right. Takes you a long time to climb up. Oh, I'm sure. So is, is this like a bell tower or is this just uh, out on the roof? Area? It's around the roof. Around the roof. Oh, yeah. And it's it's like only one person can like really walk through it. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. So that's amazing. Gorgeous, gorgeous architecture. Isn't it? Just just amazing. And, and, you know, the, the age of it and to see something go. And now here are the stories that they may never rebuild the cathedral. I'm sorry, because Mike. The, the, they're talking that they may never be able to rebuild the cathedral. Oh. After the you fire. Know, it's uh yes, it's it's really sad. I just added the time yep. to the onions. And the onions are coming right along. They're coming beautiful. Um you really don't want to caramelize them, but you do want them to be cooked and opaque so i'll let them go a little further excellent before i add the wine and then we put everything in the soup so while i'm waiting for that but when did you get your when did you get your taste for paris did you have it before you been there or i mean as far as the foods go because i, I tell you i don't think i, I i've never tried escargot uh, wow. but you know, I'm not a big seafood fan but as it begins, and I don't know what escargot is considered. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. But I, I mean, <laughs> when you get when you get your, I mean, did you have the taste for the French cuisine before visiting? Oh, sure. You know, my my mother was a gourmet cook, so she was always cooking something interesting and delicious and wonderful. And as you know, I gave my first dinner party for my boyfriend at 16. So, um, so I got the bug real early for fine food. Um, but, and snails, you've heard me talk about going to Nahat and picking them off the rocks with my grandmother and going back to her house and cooking them and with the toothpick, taking them out of the shell, dipping it in the melted butter. Yep. These, so... Here we're gonna do escargot. And we have 24 extra large escargot, which you can get in a can. Two sticks of butter, room temperature. A tablespoon of dry white wine, 12 garlic cloves chopped, a large shallot chopped, three fourths cup of fine parsley chopped, and of course the baguettes again. <laughs> So we're going to take our butter and we are going to beat it. What we're going to do is we're going to make an herbed butter to put over our escargot. Now what I'm going to do is before we just get to that, I'm going to split these. Now you can get the shells. If you can't find the shells, do it like this. Put it in a ramekin, right? Yep. Yeah. Same difference. Let me check on this. So not that I ever got looking, but where do you go to buy escargot? Well, escargots, you can find them pretty much in any market by the tuna fish it's the shells that you're going to have trouble um trouble finding sure i am going to let's see i think the onions are pretty good so 
I am going to put the onions right now in the soup, okay? Because again, you don't want them to caramelize. And they're looking really nice. Sorry, I should have shown you before I put them in the pot. Now the sprigs are still in the soup. So you'll just have to be a little careful. Okay, that's good. I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to stir this a little bit. And I think I'm gonna put this over here. And again, you know, the fan goes on. So that's, um, that's a little tough. I'm going to turn down the bouillabaisse a little bit. Fish is cooking nicely. So I'm going to make this herbed butter. And I'm just going to first mix the butter. Okay. Okay. You know I'm going to make a mess, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then... With the motor off, you're going to add the wine, okay? So the wine is going to loosen it up a little bit. Okay, I think that works. That definitely works. Then I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients, the garlic, the parsley, and the onions. And then I think what I'm going to do, because the butter is pretty well mixed, right? Nice and soft. I'm going to take it by hand further on. Now, here's the thing about this, right? This mixture, you can, and there's enough of it, as you can see, right? Sure, yeah. You'll be able to use this for our next dish, which is the bone marrow. Okay. So we're going to, ah, I'm going to add the red wine to the soup because what is French onion soup without wine? Right? Absolutely. Right. So I am going to mix this up. And here what I'm going to do is, because I really am not going to contaminate my spoon, right? I'm going to put it in half. And I'm just going to put this over here. And I'm going to put this aside for the bone marrow. Sound good? Sounds good. Okay, and then we're going to top this off. So you see, you're going to give it a nice amount, right? So that when this comes out of the oven, it's going to be nice and soupy. And with this crusty baguette, you dip the baguette and you eat the, the lovely... S cargo. Okay. I'm going to put it right in there. Put this over here. And then I'm going to pop this in for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Okay? I'm on it. So thank you very much. I got the timer. I got the timer all set here. <laughs> 450. Okay. 10 minutes. Thank you. Yep. Which brings me up to the very last dish. Can you believe it? Already <laughs> there. Bone marrow. Wow. Yikes. So, <laughs> I, 
I called around pretty much everywhere to get the canoe cut where they would cut it lengthwise. Sure. Like on my food bucket list, right? Yep. Um, not to be had. Wow. So I've got two lying down, two standing up, and we're going to roast this 10 minutes when it's raw. You can see it's got the white, it's kind of opaque, sure. has the blood in it. Yep, yep. Off to the side. But on the inside, when you cook it, it turns opaque, soft. It tastes like butter. No kidding. It is just amazing. And what you want to do is you want to take a little knife or spoon even. And again, put it on a baguette and you're good to go. This is very important to keep a watch on this because if you put it in the oven and you leave it, all the fat and Basically, that's what bone marrow is. It's right. fat. It's going to drip down <laughs> and it's going to be in a puddle. And you really don't want it to be a puddle. You kind right. of want it to be gelatin-like. So I'm going to put this in the oven, Mike. And this we're going to keep. I'm going to put the light on in the oven. We're going to keep a very good watch on this. Okay, definite 10 minutes. Now, one thing that I totally unprepared, right? I don't have any wine glasses. I no forgot wine my wine glasses. glasses. Oh, boy. oh my, but that's okay. It's the gathering, right? Use what works. <laughs> I use what works. In fact, I have to get another one. I have to get another one for my brother who will be partaking in all this wonderful food tonight. The lucky what who I like to call the lucky one. Yeah, and this is some nice Louis Jadot <laughs> wine. But uh, do we really care what it is? I'm gonna go ahead and have a sip. There you go. You deserve it. Working your butt off here. Thank you. I could say here's to H Cam, here's to Parry. Um it's the one year being in quarantine. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, is that amazing, Mike? That is awesome. I wow, a year ago. A year ago. One year. In I quarantine. thought we started earlier than me, but I think you uh I think you're kind of right. Yeah, yeah. Well Facebook doesn't lie. <laughs> okay, no comment there. No comments there, absolutely. No comment. I'm gonna have a little brie, right? Excuse my fingers. Hmm. Oh my god, I'm like, hmm. <laughs> Do you see the uh, picture? Did I add the picture of our um, every day before dinner? We go, we go have breakfast. We do a tour, we do lunch, we walk around, and we come back to the hotel. And before dinner, we'd have charcuterie. Yep. With a baguette and a bottle of wine. And then we'd head out to dinner because they do dinner late over there. Let's see. Yeah, mostly everywhere over in Europe, dinner is late, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, a lot of uh, like Italy, they take siestas, right? Sure. After lunch, and then they go back to work. Um, <laughs> I am going to. What am I going to do? I am going to plate the pears. And let me see how this is. I get this off of here. And you can see how this came out. Nice and golden. Is that beautiful? Oh, and you should smell it. 
<laughs> it's amazing. And then we're just going to add some strawberries off to the side. Here we go. That's beautiful. Okay, and like I said, I am going to <laughs> keep this in the back. Then, this is for the bouillon base. I want to check. Okay, you know what I need to do too. I have to put the. Um, the uh, I have yeah. to put the, the toast key. in. Yep. And this is perfect because the um, escargot are finished. I'm going to put this over here. You can see that. Then oh. I'm going to put. Oh, now. Oh, the bone marrow is coming along. Yeah, you got about three minutes on that. Oop, I think I lost my. Uh... Oh, still on there. <laughs> <laughs> Came undone, though. There we go. What we love about live shows. Oh, I know, huh? Nothing like it. There we go. Okay, so. Here we have the dessert. I don't know if you could see. I don't know if you could see these escargots. Yeah, you can see it from here. In fact, let me put them on a on a pot holder. Get them out of here. Get this out of the way. So still, at a basic meal like that you put together right now, it's, uh, you know, this, you know, for, for a Thursday night kind of meal, it's it, this seems like a, a dish that you want to have if you're uh, having like a romantic dinner, like the French, everything's romance. <laughs> and yes. uh, again, you know, you do it within an hour. It's, it's, it's incredible. Yeah, yeah, it's quite nice. Because I was wondering, you know, again, putting the menus and the slides together, I'm thinking to myself, how are you going to do this in one hour? I'm sorry, Mike, the fan's on a little hard. I, I said I was, I was very surprised, you know, knowing that you could pull this off in one hour when I was putting together the slides. Yep. Yep. I'm just going to rinse this and use this again. Now I'm going to plate the bouillon base. Hmm. There we go. Now this is quite beautiful. And of course, the bay leaf, you'll be able to see it. Don't eat it. Oh, yeah, don't eat it. Never. Yeah. Oh, and the cod is perfect. There we go. And then what I want to do is just pour a little liquid in here. So that you can soften it up with the, the what? Bag, with the baguette. <laughs> with the baguettes. That's right. And you can see the saffron gave the broth a nice yellow. Yeah, you could, it stands right out. I love saffron. Yeah. I know, truly. Now, let's see. Bone marrows coming along. Yep, you're on your last 30 seconds on my clock. Yeah. So, I guess what I can do here. 
Now I can I'm gonna bring this over here and I'm going to put the French onion soup in the bowls. Yep. And then you'll be able to see all this goodness. Look at that. Wow. Tons of onions. The broth is rich with wine and thyme. <laughs> And, you know, this is one of Chelsea's favorite dishes, French onion soup. Oh, I can understand why. It's, it's delicious. Yeah, and we weren't there long before she ordered it. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say. Okay, that's that. Um, okay, the bone marrow. Very interesting. Very interesting. I'm going to take my croutons out and I'm going to let the bone marrow sit for a few more minutes. Right. I figured, you know, it cook fast if it was canoed, like you said, but where it's all uh, one piece, I'm sure it might take a little longer. We're going to take this yep. and drop it right in. And that will get nice and soft and gooey and chewy and perfect. That's a meal in itself right there. Yeah, <laughs> truly. Truly, truly. Get rid of that. Don't want that catching on fire. Although every kitchen should have one. Absolutely. Right. That's very good. I like seeing that. <laughs> fire extinguisher right by the stove. Have one right over here, too. Excellent. Yep. Got to do it. Now. Oh, boy. This is. <laughs> How long do you have on that, Mike? I'm at uh, 12 and a half minutes. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out. Okay. All right. I'm going to take it out. You're at 12 and a half minutes. 12 and a half. Because you could go. 10 to 15. Yep. But again, you have to keep watch on it. Oh, sure. Oh. Oh, my. Now, the two over here could go a little longer. Sure. But... You'll see. You'll see what I mean. And this is going to be hot. So I want to use something like this so that I could show you what the center looks like. Can you see oh, it? Oh, yeah, change. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Difference. Yeah. And then what you'd want to do is, oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> and over here, there's, yep. And that needs to be done a little more. But again, we get the right idea. give it a little, little taste. I don't know if you can see it. Yep. But it is, it comes out. It's kind of like, just like butter. Delicious. Excellent. Wow. Mm. I tell you, the, the super low, like I said, is a meal and the bullet base again, just it's it's incredible. As can I go, <laughs> never never saw it cooked before, just heard about it. You know, I'm not a like I said, I'm not a big seafood fan. Uh, mm -hmm. the pears, I mean, I, I just can't get a I, they they look so beautiful right there with the strawberries. That's how truly. All right, so listen, we're going to be back, I guess, in a couple of weeks. Uh, we are. Yeah, we, we, you know where we're going yet? I do. Yeah, you want to know? I want to know, yeah. You want to know? We're going to know. Rome. Oh, when in Rome. 
When in Rome, do as the Romans do. You get that right. So, yeah. oh, that'll be very interesting. So, I, I'm assuming that uh, we're not going to see a lot of pizza and a lot of. Uh, <laughs> no, the, no, the menu is going to be really different. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, not your typical Italian dinner, put it that way. Okay. And it's more like a dinner that you would find in a small little restaurant in on a side street you know oh. you're you're walking around after a tour yeah. or shopping and you want to duck inside for a little something to eat and you sit down and it's all this wonderful, That's wonderful really cool. yeah wonderful i mean because people you know you're not thinking you go into olive garden you can see that stuff on the menu right i don't know i know i <clears> know <throat> but you know um, I mean the Olive Garden, right? They they have some good stuff. Oh, the food is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. no, I'm not knocking the Olive Garden, but it's you know a lot a lot of people when you have Italian food and you go to the you know the North End and to those little restaurants that you got to go downstairs to or upstairs to, um, you, you you're floored by the way they put it together because you're gonna say, wow, this is Italian. You know, everyone thinks sauce and cheese, sauce and cheese, sauce and cheese, and Right. It's it's more than that. I mean, just, I mean, I, I again, I'm not a big seafood person, but just the Italian seafood alone it will just blow you away. Absolutely. So, to our viewers, I hope you all liked visiting the City of Lights, and um, you know, if you haven't been, you must go. Things are opening up again. You might want to put it on your bucket list. Absolutely. All right, well, Terry, thank you very much for tonight. And again, everything looked fantastic. Good job. Oh, and real quick, uh, I want to wish you a happy birthday. Bindi Bryant's uh, birthday today. Bindi Bryant, happy birthday. There you go. We I love mean, you. And Chelsea's is the week is next week. Next week. Best friends. They met when they were like three months old and then started hanging out from the first grade on. And best friends to this day. To this day. That's As amazing. I am with her mom, Patty. So Patty, yep. love you, girls. Love you, Charles. Love everybody. <laughs> and here's to H-Cam. <laughs> to H-Cam. All right. Good night, Terry. Good night. Take care, everybody. Bye.